Monday the 2nd. Doing something a little bit out of order here. Since I was back here screwing around and this, that, or the other, I decided I might as well build the hitch. Uh, I'm back here screwing around anyway. So I actually started Saturday when I had some family members over and I didn't film anything, but I'll show you what I got now and I'll explain what I'm gonna do. So right now, these bolt holes are the existing holes that have the thing in the frame so you can't collapse it for the bumper bracket. So that's where the bumper bracket would bolt. So I've made these plates. Um, I've already welded some nuts to there and I've already got an idea what I'm gonna do here. So this, this bracket and this bumper's pretty bad, but I've got another one that's good. But I'm gonna end up cutting a hole right here. The receiver will be in here. And I'm gonna get like a license plate bracket from like a 60s Chevrolet that folds down when you put gas in. And I'll actually hide the hitch receiver here. And then if this car ever gets a shoot, I'll use that exact same hole for the chute and then we'll make a thing come up so the chute when it comes out it'll catch the the air but so that's what i'm doing and on the fox i used a i think it's this inch and a quarter receiver i'm doing the same thing here it doesn't need to be super stout i think the trailer i don't know two thousand pounds or something like that so i'll be using this deal and probably the way that this is going to go is oops something similar to this and then you're probably gonna have to reach your hand back in here to put this shingus in and it's gonna take a little bit of figuring because i want it hidden i don't want you to be able to see it so i'm gonna get this excuse me i'm gonna get this stuff that's in the car existing already i'm gonna get that tacked up and then I'm gonna get that welded and then we'll start working on getting the, the receiver done and go from there. got to get my butt inside and shower for work but um took me a minute to get this thing cut out i do have it cut out may have a little bit of interference here with this lower balance we shall see but i'll show you what we got so obviously we will weld this to there and then we're gonna have to make some plates or something to keep this thing stiff but um Something like that and it'll be I gotta open up the gotta open up that hole in the bumper I needed to cut it a little more that way but that's no big deal that's the bumper that was off the ranchero so I'm not even worried about slicing and dicing on that thing but uh, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna mess with this and then I'm gonna run inside go to work and then we'll catch back tomorrow all right Tuesday the third we're back out here. I did a few things off camera. Number one is I bolted the bumper on, somewhat adjusted it to where I think it will be when the car's done. 
Again, this is not the bumper that I'm gonna use. I don't even know if I'm gonna use a steel bumper. This depends on how this car weighs out front to back. But I got the bumper on and let me show you what I got. So, sorry for the light. We got our 716 by 20 bolts. And it basically, like I told you guys, catches the existing holes. And then we've got our hitch or receiver, whatever you want to call it, where I think it's going to be. I've got to get it. It's a little bit. It needs to go down 0.2 degrees, but that's what it'll look like from back here. Like I say, once that plate's up, you're not even going to see this thing. So I'm going to drag the TIG welder over here, get this bad boy tacked up, and then we'll get it over to the bench. And then, obviously, this thing's going to need some gussets because I've lost a bunch of the tube trying to get it where I want it. So we're going to guts the heck out of this thing, too, just to make sure that uh, it doesn't crack or anything like that. So... So we got the receiver part welded in. Now we're gonna burn the uh, brackets or the gussets that I got. I'm gonna burn those in now. this is what we got it's not the cleanest still really struggling with my torque speed probably the best was right up there but it's it's welded and it won't come apart all right everybody it's wednesday just getting out to the shop a little late in the afternoon had some errands to run i want to do a few things to this hitch and then i'm gonna go visit merle for a beer let me show you what we got. So I got everything welded out yesterday as far as this thing's concerned. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put any weld in here. I don't know yet, but uh, that's in the car, bolted in. Um, I remember I told you guys we were gonna flip the license plate down. Well, that ain't gonna work. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to flip the license plate up which is fine. However, I went and measured my trailer <clears throat> and it's 16 inches basically where the tra trailer is level and where the tongue is. And this is about 22 inches. So before we start having any license plates, uh, before I do any of that stuff, I'm gonna order another receiver. That's the one that I used with the Fox. And so I'm gonna order another one that We'll pull that thing down to about 16 inches. Um, now I'm working on, and, and you'll see more when this is done, but this is what I'm working on now. So basically, uh, where your chains clip in, that's what this piece is going to be. Uh, I'm going to cut this off here, here in these corners, and then we're going to drill our inch and three eighths holes in here, both sides. And then that's where you'll lock your chains into. So I'm gonna get this all cut out. And then once this is cut out, we will pull the hitch back out, get this welded to the hitch, and the hitch will be done other than waiting for um, the different receiver. And then I may even make a license plate thing that'll fold up, I'm not sure yet. Just because I'm weird like that. So 
put you on a time lapse. We'll get this banged out. got that piece made it took me a little longer than I thought but we got it made and I'm getting ready to burn it in all right I got that all burned in and it's back in the car um, I think I put a little bit too much heat to it. It kind of has a small bow to it. I don't know if you can see it, but I got a bow where I put the, this brace here. Uh, it's just a hitch. And I don't think it's going to make that big of a deal. I'm going to trim this a little bit so that you can pin in and out a little bit easier but she's in and good enough for government work we'll go have a beer with Merle and catch up with him he had a friend pass away so I'm gonna go catch up with him and then we'll catch up tomorrow we'll start slicing and dicing on this tunnel Thank you very much, sir. Have a nice day. You too. Does anybody else do shit like that? Can't wait for your parts to get here. All right. It is Thursday, the whatever day. Oh, it's uh, Cinco de Mayo. And these are our lower spring plates. plates. Bunkhouse. Sticker. Bubble wrap. Most importantly, made in USA. Bad unit others. Zip tied together. Nice unit right here. I like it a lot. So, like I said, uh, these spring plates will allow us to adjust that shock for the track, and then when we load the car up and drive to the next track, we'll be able to lower that shock down. So we've got some suspension, and when we get um, back to the track, we'll push that shock all the way back up to that top eyelet and. Bingo.
All right, y'all. Uh, I noticed just a little difference between the punk houser and the cower. In case anybody else is doing this, like I'm doing it, looks like the locating hole, the center locating hole for the pin that goes through. Looks like I might need to do just a little bit of massaging. I think the Funkhauser one might be cut with a laser on. The other one feels like it is too, but it won't go all the way up on there. So I'm just gonna clean that hole out. This hole here, I mean, it's really close. It tries to go on over the uh, nut, but just quite won't go. And if you can see, that's 13 16 And this is just almost 13 16 So I'm gonna clean those out and I'll get back to it. Video, you guys, and catch you on the next one.